Hello, um, White here with another Volts tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to build, you guessed it, <laughs> an automatic fusion reactor. So, let's say you're just tired of your the complexities of a fission reactor with making always having to mine uranium and using centrifuges, nuclear boilers, chemical extractors. Um, this is the fusion. Fission from last tutorial. Remember, this is not a high efficiency model. This is an automatic. You can make high efficiency models while being automatic with this design, but this is not a high efficiency model. Okay, so today, like I, let's get back to what I was saying. We're going to be teaching you how to build a fusion. So here, first things first, you're going to need water. It doesn't matter. You don't need this many pumps or, or water. You can just do one pump in a one infinite water source. But I like to do this, so, and then. You're going to need chemical extractors, but you're not going to need centrifuges or nuclear bars. You don't need those. You're going to need chemical extractors. You're going to be exporting, so from the ME to the centrifuge, or to the chemical extractor, excuse me. You're going to want empty cells. You don't have to have it on stack mode. It just makes it more efficient. So you're making sure these go on the top. All three of these have empty cells. You don't need three, but I'm just using three. You can use one if you want, but... And then you're going to have an import bus. You don't need a specific, you don't need to filter it. Or you can put on stack or no stack. It doesn't matter. Um, but here we are. We're uh, just making, and do you know what this makes? De de deuterium. And deuterium is the thing, um, the cell, like um, fissile fuel rods, that powers um, the reactor. This is easier um, to make. And a lot faster. Maybe the fusion is a little more expensive to create because of using electromagnets. But here's what we're going to start with. We're going to take, we're going to build it four up or four or five up. And then you're going to want to, so four blocks, and then you're going to place a fusion on it. Just delete it, make it float. Delete the four blocks below it. And then you're going to want to place all blocks around it. Um, you don't have to shift, you don't have any um, in-game GUIs, these fusions. Okay, so you have this little ring around it. And then you're going to take um, electromagnetic glass, kind of make a tube on both sides. So like this. Um, and you're not, and as you can tell, this is how Here we go. So we're going to make the tube around it. And sorry, I'm lagging. Oh, I, I know exactly what it is too. I'm going to record it like a little bit, so you guys have to excuse this amount of lag that you're getting. But, and so you're going to make this tube around it um, of electromagnetic glass. This will keep where the plasma will be housed. And then you're going to take more electromagnets. It's going to take 32 electromagnetic glass and 32 electromagnets to build this entire reactor. If you want, um, you know, just this is not the most the highest efficiency model, like I've mentioned. This is a sim or a medium or low efficiency model, but it is automatic, and you can still use this automatic design and still make it high efficiency with the uh, or pipes, mechanical pipes, and steam funnels. So now you're going to want to take a block of your choice. I like to use concrete. You do not have to use concrete. It just makes it if you have a meltdown by breaking a block or something wrong it will so you don't need electromagnets anymore so I'm going to take concrete and you're going to build a little like this so you're going to have one of these because water has to be flowing has to be a flowing source and if you want me to make a tutorial on how to um, make a high efficiency model while it's still being um, efficient um, but this is the easiest model you can just comment below I'm um, sorry about the background noise, my, my little bro. Um, so here we go. You do not need the corners. They do not make power. Um, this is a low efficiency model. I cannot stress that enough, so don't go complaining that this is not the most high efficiency model. But it is automatic, 100%. You don't. The only thing manual work you'll ever have to do is make empty cells and make sure you have power. That shouldn't be a problem if you have a fission or a fusion. 
or any kind of power because this is very low power consumption. So I've noticed a glitch with fusions in particular that they take more power to run than they can create sometimes at times with this not with this model but with a, like you know and you're not using it just like takes a lot of power the energy keeps to run it I feel like it's a glitch it might not be so now that you have this housing make sure there's oh I do not want to get rid of that just gonna get my electro mana it's okay so it's so you have this housing you make these three up for for all the yeah pretty high if you want to use steam funnels you can you do not have to and I'll be showing you kind of how the high efficiency models work. So here we are. We've got this. Now you're going to need water. Make sure this is very important that, that it's flowing onto the electromagnets. It's not an entire source. You can't. So you're just going to make full sources back in the back, but you do not make them on top of the electromagnets because then it will not create steam. It might, but not, maybe not as efficiently at all. I cannot stress that. The importance of that, and I'm really lagging. And I'm really sorry. I have a good idea. Short, tiny. There, this should help you guys maybe a little bit. Here we go. So now, um, I don't want to use fast capture because it takes like a 10 gigabyte file, and that's just it might not lag, but it's very, very long uploads. Um, let me know if you want me to use fast capture. You probably do. And I'll probably do it. I'll probably use it next video. I just don't like the, the huge file sizes with it. Like 10 gigabytes for this video. That's probably what it'd be, which is way big. But let me know. I mean, I'll, I'll do it if you guys want it. Um. And guess, guess, guess what, guys? We're one subscriber, or no, zero, I think it is. Zero subscribers strong. But as you can tell, I make this video. Um, because I want to be able to help you guys out. Oh, what did I do that for? Guys, you tell me, just tell me not to talk. I can't talk in this. Dear God. Um, I have to edit that out. If I say that, I will. Maybe yeah, I won't. Oh, mother crapper. I'm stick. Go to poop. There we go. Fixed it. It's okay. Oh, and you're also going to want to place just like one or two water sources here. Um, you're not going to be getting power off this. You're just going to be. And you don't even need steam funnels for this. This is just to solely power the reactor, so it doesn't do that weird glitch where it takes all the power and it, it's weird. So once these start turning, you have to jump start it once. But if you jump start it once, um, you probably won't run out of deuterium as long as you don't run out of empty cells. So here you go. Now you're gonna want to take steam funnels like this. And what you can do, I think, mechanical pipes or pipes. You can take them. This is how to make the high efficiencies. And then the steam will come out of these funnels like that. And you can pump them into more turbines like this. And then this turbine will spin. I'll, I'll leave that there just to show you what I mean. And that's how you make the five high efficiency models where you pump a ton, like all the steam into like a hundred, like a ton of, um, you know what I mean. A ton of turbines. And the more of that you do, the more efficiency you get. You can do that with fissions too, if you're using steam funnels. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. And you can do that nine trick where you make nine. And I'll, I'll like. I'll just show you what I mean. Like, this is. You don't normally have to do this. You can just leave it. Like, this is done. This is complete if you. Once you put the. Wire it once you wire it up. Now, once this is starts spinning, I will show you what you can do to make it a little tiny bit more efficient. And I'm sorry about the lag. I, I don't want to make a 10 gigabyte video because I'm going to edit it and make it 
last it takes forever to upload. There we go. It's done, but not a, it's but it's not fully automatic yet. So you take this and you filter it up to have to tune. You can make it I like to have it on stackable. That is not a requirement, but uh, I would do that. And I like to use reactors. Flumations are the best source of power in atomic science. Um, so here you go. Now you take a ultimate or just a, a little energy cube, you know. Um, and this will. I always get radiation, and be sure to have like a radiation suit or power armor with, and that should jump start it. And then all this should start spinning. And then I'll have I'll have this connect into a ultimate energy cube, an empty one. And I'll show you how much faster this is than that. But this has more steam funnels. Not to mention it's better than a fission. I use fusions. I would definitely use fusions. So look at this filling up. But here let me show you how to make the high efficiency. I'm pretty sure this is how it's done. So you take a reactor piece. I think it has to go through the top of the... Oh no, guys. <laughs> this is trial and error. I might edit this whole part out. So that's how you make a automatic fish or an automatic fusion reactor. I cannot stress this is not the full efficiency model. You can take pipe pipes and make it more efficiency with stacking the turbines on top of each other. Um, thank you for watching. This is uh, it's, I hope this helped you. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, thank you.